the new look London South End was officially open today. It's the capital's sixth international airport. Transport Secretary Justine Greening was there to give her support and said she wasn't ruling out the possibility of building new runways or even a new airport in the South East. Andrew Sinclair reports. South End Airport is about to get much busier. From next month, there'll be 90 flights a week from here to destinations across Europe. The new terminal is ready. The airport promising there'll be a big emphasis on customer service. We have a number of standards we've offered in terms of promises about how long you'll wait for security, and it shouldn't be more than four minutes ever. And as you arrive off an aircraft, we want to make sure you can get, if you have hand baggage only, from your aircraft side to the railway station platform in no more than 15 minutes. The Transport Secretary said the airport's expansion was a vote of confidence in Southend. She's about to publish a discussion paper on how to increase air capacity in the region. The southeast is heavily congested. Business and the airline industry worry that in 20 years' time there'll be no space unless something is done. We need to use what we've got better, more effectively. We're looking at how we can do that. But yes, we need to think ahead and say, do we really have enough capacity going forward in the aviation sector? And if we don't, what do we think we can do in order to make sure we've got the right sort of capacity in the next 10, 20, 30 years? So we do need another runway or another airport at some stage? Well, I'm not going to prejudge what outcome we'll get from the process I'm about to kick off. For now, there is still capacity at other airports, but what happens after that? Ms Greening said another runway at Heathrow was not the right answer. All the parties were agreed on that, she said. So will another at Stansted or Gatwick be back on the agenda? And the plans to build a new airport in the Thames are increasingly being taken seriously. Southend will soon be handling two million passengers a year. That'll certainly help, but it won't solve the problem of air capacity in the southeast. The industry and business are expecting the government to come up with something bigger. Andrew Sinclair, BBC London News at Southend Airport.